whether it's truth or whether we've taken it on as our truth. Your life is gonna flow and follow whichever you choose to have in the driver's seat. My name is Petra Culver. I'm an author, a movement motivator, and a happiness facilitator. I traveled around the world as a dancer. I moved to New York. I fast-tracked into fitness. My upbringing was a little traumatic. My father was an alcoholic. Somewhere along the line, I misinterpreted this idea that perfect men value. We don't view making mistakes as making a mistake. We view it, I am the mistake. As that truth became more of my truth, my anxiety became bigger and greater and it moved into panic attacks. I also had this awful, awful symptom of like this zero to 60 head to toe sweat. If ever I was sitting at a dinner table in New York and all of a sudden the attention was brought on me unexpectedly, oh my God. It looked like I had run a marathon. My first girl, excuse me, I gotta be right back. I gotta go to the restroom. And then, you know, you're in this little toilet trying to calm yourself down, knowing there's a group of six people waiting for you thinking she's lost her mind. This is spinning in your head, trying to walk out being perfect. I couldn't bear that anymore. I know what it feels like to live with this idea of trying to live up to something that's so impossible to live up to. I had always viewed my anxiety and my perfection and my panic attacks as a negative versus seeing them as a part of who I am. The moment I stopped seeing it as a negative or something to be ashamed about, it took away the power. People say, when they come out of my classes, they say, oh my God, I feel so inspired. What I was tapping into are not people's bodies. What I really was tapping into is their hearts. And so I felt like this was also maybe a missing link in the work that I had been doing to also cultivate my own happiness, my own resilience, my own grit. Whether you think you're a perfectionist, whether you are searching for more courage, whether you've ever woken up and said, I'm not enough, whether you've ever woken up and thought that you were the only one that didn't have it figured out, this is the book. First few steps are basically getting out the mud. Step two is reframing our focus. You've been so conditioned to focus on everything that we're not, we're gonna to start to pivot your focus onto everything that you are. And then step three is when you close this last page of the book, I want you to have the tools and the strategies that are gonna to able to take you into the future. The reader will have a shift in their own life that I believe will add a sense of freedom. This is a sustainable practice that will not only move you into a place of bravery today, but it will allow you to keep revisiting that place of bravery when things get tough. This book speaks to our heart, speaks to our courage. It reminds us of the truth of who we are before anyone told us we were to this or to that. It brings us back to the person we always were.